Hey everybody, long time no see. Uh, I think it's been about a year since I posted about this project, and I think that even at that, the video that I posted as an episode uh, most recently was not even about this project, uh, which I apologize about. Uh, but I was doing some thinking on it, and it wasn't that I was quitting it, but uh, I needed to change tact a little bit. Uh, first thing to report, is that I am working on CAD with a friend who is a professional CAD designer uh, to design the whole guitar top to bottom uh, so that it's sort of a known entity. We have a plan going forward for exactly what it's going to look like uh, from, from that perspective. Make sure that everything is going to fit together properly. Uh, make sure that you know, everything is the way that I want it um, and that all my ideas I have in my head will actually work in the physical world. So, uh, who knows what the episode number is going to be on this video. Maybe we'll just leave them ambiguous from here on out. Maybe there's this questionable uh, one episode offset. Anyways, uh, next thing, big life change, I am now married. And uh, with that, uh, I have now moved. I live somewhere different. So you'll notice this is a slightly different garage, different vehicle, uh, different hair length, but same project. So you can imagine getting married, moving, all that stuff. Never mind the uh, all the other stuff we've been uh, dealing with uh, on this planet recently. Uh, yeah, it took me a bit to get around to this, but uh, I have my bit, drill bit, I have my rotary coupling, got my lathe, uh, I have my three jaw chuck, and I've got some fittings. Let's see here, maybe up like this, huh? And I just got some more fittings because we're ready to go. Let's take a look-see here. That's a lathe spindle with some threads inside it. Quarter inch NPT threads on this end and uh, it's a little narrow on this end, eighth inch. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, this is what we needed. We need to be able to pass air through this. So I got some Teflon tape, I got some other stuff. We're gonna see if we can fit this up. All right, I'm thinking we should do a dry fit first. Uh, it's been a while since I extricated this from the assembly here, but I do believe it goes in more or less this way. Um, I guess the easy way to tell is the rear end will be reverse threaded and the front end will be regular threaded. So this lathe chuck should go right on here if I'm remembering correctly. Yep. So that goes on there, that's that's the regular threaded. Uh, this would obviously not work because this is completely cross-threaded, so I'm not gonna put that in like that. Got two bearings. One, two. And those basically press in. Kind of press fit. Still a retainer clip in the back end here for this one here. pretty tight they should go in there and uh, the spindle is quite tight this you know really shiny part here that's just you know almost press fit onto the bearings so um, the next thing is also these are I believe both reverse threaded and they go on the very end to sort of cap it off. There's a cap here and these will cap right like that and tighten against each other to keep it you know from moving in place. Along the center of the shaft there's obviously the pulley here which uh, has to go 
around the belt before I assemble the whole thing. And this has a little set grub screws that go in a couple holes that also go in a couple holes on the lathe spindle there. You know what I think I need to get this I need to get this bearing pressed onto here first. I think that's my first step. Ha, <laughs> that's all I needed. Slightly tougher piece of wood. That did it. This stuff was just garbage, but oh. So there's step one. That's in like that. Next step is this pulley. Which seems to slip on there okay. And then my set screws. Let me see if I can get in real nice and close here so you can see. Yeah, there we go. All right, so got this bearing here, pounded on all the way down. Now we gotta get this, uh, gotta find these holes for this set screws. There's one and two. And these little set screws use an Allen key. So, should go right like that. And I don't even know that these need to be uh, hyper tightened because there's some pretty good little keyholes in the in the drive shaft, but I'll just make sure they're in there snug. Sorry, it's not the uh, easiest thing for y'all to see there. That's interesting. This one here, slotted screwdriver instead. The chances I don't drop this are slim. Oh, look at that, I got started. First try. Guess I lied. Not gonna drop that one. You don't see that going in there? I think you probably can, okay? It's almost like I know what I'm doing. All right, we got a bearing here to put in on the back end too. You know what? I think this just cranks down on there and holds it all. I think. It's possible I can put this chuck on here. 
No, nope, that's gonna that's gonna spin off. How would I do this? See, I gotta hold this shaft somehow, but I can't hold it with the chuck because this is reverse threaded. So to thread this on, I have to lefty tighty, which lefty loosies this sucker here. Hmm. Small conundrum. Yep, there's just some slightly funky thread right at the... Look at that. Look at that. Just like... Perfection. Right on there. I think I just... Really, it's kind of snug. Let's see. Spins good. tight in there. I think I do I think I do want oops. yeah I think I do want this tight in here as tight as I can. No. So now we want to do Slips in here. Which is supposed to allow me to snug these. Yeah, to each other. I just tightened my wrench on there, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. My belt, my set screws, and the rest of this stuff here, I think is for the back of this to be covered up, which I'm not gonna be doing anymore. Which end should we look at first? That's the question. I think we look at the back end. So I think, uh, I'm gonna need some additional parts, but I can show you right here how I'm gonna use this because I don't think it matters, which they say one side's inlet and outlet, but I don't think it really matters. It's under pressure and that the coupling rotates. So uh, because 
this little silver end is eighth inch NPT. You can see there, threaded my little eighth inch male to male. That means it fits directly with this spindle here. And all of a sudden I've got a rotary coupling. You can see I can hold this stationary and I can turn, uh, turn my spindle. Um, I have a few other fittings here that I may use. I have this ball valve. I have this, which is a, a quick connect and disconnect system, which I should probably integrate somewhere. Uh, but it seems to be a little long just going out straight like that's too much. I think what I want is a quarter inch NPT, uh, male to male, 90 degree. And then I can stick either this fitting here, the quick connect fitting, or the ball valve, and then the quick connect fitting perhaps, down at a 90 degree angle. I can also build, I should probably build some structure here to kind of hold this. Um, while this spins, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll put just some rubber of some sort around this and then put that in a little bit of a holder because it doesn't look like it's perfectly concentric, but it's close. And it's got very little resistance actually. Uh, the other thing I'm going to have to watch for is uh, when this lathe spindle here is spinning the correct direction, uh, it, it wants to unthread itself. That's the reason that these lathe spindles on the rear end are uh, reverse threaded, but there's no such thing as a, a right ways threaded or reverse threaded uh, NPT fitting. I can't get that kind of a thing. So I'm going to have to just crank this down really good with the Teflon tape uh, and probably also with some Loctite or something, and then we'll stay. Uh, the next bit to figure out though is the front end, which would be kind of cool. So the first thing you gotta put on the front is the chuck. Like so. Three jaw chuck, so it should sort of center things pretty well. Uh, and then we have the bit here, again from uh, Sterling Gun Drills. I'm sure that's upside down or backwards or something. But I'm going to keep it uh, mostly in its uh, plastic sheathing here. So you can see the back end of it, that's quarter NPT. So What I've got here is a quarter NPT about yay, sticks out a little bit, and I've got a shredder one. So I think, I didn't really check this before, I just got a couple lengths, but I think the shorter one might be better. The question is, does this slip down the center of the chuck? Yes, it does. So this shorter one will be the ticket. That'll go in like that. And this will turn in like so. Chuck's gonna hold the bit just like that. I think I may need an even shorter one of those. See how oily this thing is? It's pretty oily. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. Starting from the back, we've got our rotary coupling right here. You can see I can, you know, this is the lathe chuck. I can spin this freely. 
but it's airtight, so compressed air can come in the back end here and uh, the whole assembly can spin and remain sealed. So this is first, it's got a little quarter inch NPT input here and an eighth inch output. Uh, the connector here is just a little eighth inch to eighth inch male to male NPT. Goes into the back of the lathe's actual spindle here. Now that passes through, we reassembled this with the locking nuts, the bearing, uh, then the spindle passes through this uh, pulley, uh, which has a couple set screws, uh, and then another bearing at this end of the housing. Attached to that we have the three-jaw chuck here, one, two, three, which uh, clamps down onto the collet of the drill bit here all greasy of course and uh, that's quarter inch so this is quarter inch female the uh, lathe spindle also has a quarter inch there so that's just another little male to male connector down in here that allows this whole thing to uh, lock up pretty nice and uh, spin and everything so uh, I don't think I'm gonna do a final assembly just yet. I do have some uh, Teflon tape, but I'm going to hold off. Um, the next bits that I need are, I think, for this end, a 90 degree quarter inch NPT fitting, which is going to allow me essentially to sort of make a turn downwards here. This is the edge of the table is right about here, so I don't want stuff sticking out the back further. I want it to sort of head down and, and end where the table is so it doesn't get bumped or knocked. We are far from concentric when I do spin this. So I am going to need to do some centering on this. I don't know that I'm going to get that just by tightening the three-jaw chuck. I might, I might not. Um, but I need, a, I need something to hold and guide the drill bit as it rotates so that it's actually concentric. Anyways, I think that's about as far as I'm going to go for uh, this video. Got to buy those other fittings and whatnot. Uh, but hopefully this shows that the project's still going, it's not dead. Uh, I crossed, I believe, what I think is one of the major hurdles in this whole deal, which was getting those threads tapped for the air fittings into this lathe spindle. Uh, that was some machining work that was not something that I myself was going to be able to tackle, so I needed to have somebody do that. But the, a lot of the rest of this, I think I can figure out bit by bit uh, through some visits to the hardware store and uh, whatnot. So I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, next one might be a hardware store visit or it might just pick up when I get back from that. And uh, that's the project. It's uh, definitely coming along. Catch you guys next time.